$25,000 and counting, Mothers Against Drunk Driving is raising funds with a 5K and Family Festival that was tonight at Lumberton High School. Victims of impaired driving and their families spoke to KFDM's Jessica Crawford, sharing how the event helps them spread their message to others. Laughter and cheers, all surrounding a cause that brings anything but smiles. At first he was my son, then my friend and my brother. Ray Carter was at the Walk Like Mad 5K. His son was killed by a drunk driver a few years ago. Carter rebuilt his son's bike to honor his memory. It's, it, is an, it is his dream of a bike. And it is the memory we shed, we spread and tell. And we use this bike to tell people and educate people on, the, on drinking and driving. And we ask people not, please don't drive drunk. Victims of impaired drivers, family and supporters all gathered at the Mad 5K and Family Festival. The events are very helpful, especially for my brother. Uh, Danny is a vic was a victim. He survived. Thank God for, for him surviving because without them, we really don't know where we would be as a family. And the walk really just helps. I know a lot of the victims. For him personally, he gets to help out and he's very involved with Matt. The event holds a special meaning for those forever marked by the impact of impaired drivers. So, you know, raising money for like the mad walk, you know, it, it also helps me because, you know, I'm, I'm the victim. Victims and supporters using the past to create hope for the future. In Lumberton, Jessica Crawford, KFDM 6 News. This is the fourth year for the walk and the first year that Beaumont's MAD organization did a glow in the dark 5K. They, the group surpassed its fundraising goal before today's event even started.